Hi everyone, so today's video is the first of a series of videos on makeup for your eye colour. The colour wheel is one of my favourite tools to use when creating a makeup look. If I'm ever feeling uninspired or stuck for ideas, I'll go straight to my colour wheel and I'll just have a play around and see what colour combinations I can come up with. Today though, I'm using it to show you how to make your eye colour pop. You want to find your eye colour on the wheel and to figure out its complementary colour, you want to look opposite your colour. In my case today, orange is directly opposite blue and the contrast between these two colours is what's going to make my eyes really pop. Of course lots of colours suit blue eyes, but I find the orange really sets them ablaze, which is why I went with this colour for today's look. This is my version of a toned down look, but you can go for a more subtle effect if you want, or you can intensify it like I've done in a previous tutorial, whatever suits your style. So that's enough waffling now, so let's get on to the tutorial. The first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area and today I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. If you want to give a really vibrant look to your shadows, you could go in with a white base next, but the shadows I'm using today are phenomenal on their own. So once I'm happy with the paint pot coverage wise, then I'm going to set it in place so that it doesn't budge throughout the day and so that the shadows to come apply smoothly over the top. Next, I'm going in with a liner pen and I'm mapping out the shape of my winged liner. I've done this in tutorials before and there's a couple of reasons why. I'll be using that tail as a guide and I'll be blending my shadows in from that point and also I'm not filling in that outline just yet and that's because I love to use liquid and I find if the liner was done first and then I applied my eyeshadows on top that the liner would kind of crack and flake away from the buffing motions that I use with my blending brush so this way is just less messy and I get a better end result. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is Morocco by Makeup Geek and I've picked up a small amount of the product on a blending brush and now I'm starting from the edge of that wing and I'm buffing the shadow into the crease. I'm using a mix of circular and windshield wiper motions to apply the product and I'm keeping this colour strictly to the crease. Once I feel I've laid down the bulk of the product I'm going to use these same motions again but I'm moving my brush upwards gradually so that the shadow has that nice fading effect. If you're struggling to fade the edges of the eyeshadow, go in with a clean brush and blend along where you feel the eyeshadow is looking a little harsh, or you can just clean off your current brush and do the same. Sticking with the warm hues next, I'm going in with Cocoa Bear, and this is a ready orange brown, and I'm adding that into the crease to add some subtle definition. Then I'm going in with Americano and adding this into the crease too and I'm doing this to add some further definition. I always say it but layering your eyeshadows is key, it's what's going to take your smoky eye to the next level. I just find it looks so much more impressive to do it this way than if you just went in with one flat shade of eyeshadow. If you've seen my other orange look that I uploaded recently, I'm using pretty much the same shadows, just in a different way to create a different look. The last colour that I'm going to use is this black eyeshadow and I'm using a touch of this and adding it into the deepest part of my crease to add a bit more depth to the look. Now that I've finished applying eyeshadow to the lid, I'm going to fill in that liner outline that I drew earlier. And my eyeliner of choice is the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner which will come as no surprise because it's my holy grail liner, it's the only one that I ever use. Next I'm going to apply some false lashes and I have an in-depth video on how to do this if you haven't seen it already, I'll link it above. But I chose some kind of natural lashes today because I didn't want anything too over the top. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going in with that orange again and this is where I really feel it comes together. I love the look of the orange on the lower lash line and then the clear eyelid and just the eyeshadow in the crease, I think that helps to make the eyes look bigger and brighter. So I'm adding the shadows in the same order, so the orange first, now I'm applying the Cocoa Bear shade. Moving on now to the deeper brown shade Americano and then finally I'm going in and adding some of the black. The orange is the only colour I like to bring right into the tear duct, the other shades I bring halfway across the eye and then the black I like to keep that to the outer third. 
I'm adding some mascara now so the one that I apply to my top lashes doesn't really matter because I have false ones on but for the bottom lashes I like the Lancome Hypnose Mascara because it doesn't smudge underneath my eyes but yeah once your mascara is on that's it you're done so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video